Hey everyone, welcome to Stories Untold. I'm Ash, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Let's start. Some commands may be in case sensitive, okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Uh. Okay. The house abandoned. I guess maybe that's the first chapter? He pulled up to the driveway of the family holiday home and parked the car. It's dark, but it's an idyllic. But it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Look in the glove box. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open glove box? Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and it reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay. Oh, this is the same thing. Alright. Um... Get out of in the car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um, uh, go to the side. Take a walk around to the yard. The year has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Um, okay, go back. You walk back around to the front of the house. What did the note say? I've already forgotten. Good lord. Um, note. around back then okay. hmm. go around back uh, generator okay that's just weird go to the generator <sighs> okay uh, go around back around Oh my god. Go to the other side. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, we've already seen that. Um, damn it. Uh, read note. Fire up the generator and run back. Okay, maybe I need to write fire up the generator. Mm. Go back. Maybe we need to open the door.
open front door. Use key. Insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. It says wait. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on. <laughs> uh turn on light switch. Like no, no nothing. There's no power. The note sh should say how to restore. I tried. Okay, go out. Oh, okay. Go to the back, back of the house. Go to back of the house. Yard. Oh my god, go to the yard. Look around. There we go. You see a generator. There it is. Um, go to the generator. You're standing next to the generator. Uh, use generator. You switch the generator on, and it grows to life. The house is still dark. Okay, well it's working. So go back, and then. Okay. Then we can maybe go in. Go in the house. Oops. House. You step inside the front door. You enter the house, the hallway. It's dark. Okay. Turn. Turn on light switch. Hey, there we go. The hallway is now bright lit. Um, there is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as the side of the stairs going up. Go to the living room? You step inside the living room. Spacious and comfortable living room. We spend a lot of good times in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. There is nothing here of interest. Okay. Go to the kitchen. Okay, never mind. Go back. Go back out the hallway. Alright, uh, I think next up is the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Look around. It's very clean and tidy, not been used in a while. Open door. Video room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay, go back. You go back out the hallway. I guess it's time to go up. Um. Go up. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Um. Go to sister's bedroom. Oops. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful chests of toys. A real nostalgia trip. Look around. Maybe there's something there. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly- Okay. Open wardrobe. It's empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs. Look at photographs? 
maybe? You're all identical. Forest road at night. You put them back. Okay. Go back. You step back onto the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom. Okay, that's basically the same thing. Um. Alright. Go to the, the bathroom, maybe. It's up inside the bathroom. If you're in the bathroom, there's not much note, but it's all in good order. Look around. Bathroom's clean. Large mirror s sits above the sink. Look at the mirror. What's your reflection? Looking good. <laughs> Alright, go back. Um, and let's go to our room. Uh, go to your bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. It's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A future Futura 128k plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully it still works. Your old bedroom. Oh, sorry. Um... And a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to set. Okay, set up. Computer? Maybe? You start to plug in the various cables and LEDs. Computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Play game? You put the cassette in the computer. Press play. <coughs> oh god. Oh, that spooked me. Hello? Um. Oh, it's upside down. Get out? Okay. Alright. Um, I should just go out. Oh no, not again. You pull up to the driveway of the family hold a home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Oh, it's different. <sighs> oh, you check the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out the car, get out, get out, get out. Okay. Okay, let's get out of the car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Okay. Um. Uh. Open door? The door appears to be locked. The one to use it. Okay. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Okay, go back. Go to the yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note needing to look around. Okay. Look around. There's an old generator next to you. Um, check. Generator. Use generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, the pictures! Oh no, the the eyes and the pictures are crossed over. Oh no. Oh, this sucks. I don't like this game anymore. Ah, oh, open door. This is confusing. Um, pitch black, but your senses are punished. More by the smell, still air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Look around. Fumbling around the wet walls, you find a light switch. Turn on. Light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. 
The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglectful wars. There are chains and trills all over the place. Oh my god. There's a sound of an alarm clock blaring someone else in the house. Uh. Uh. Go up. Stop. Turn off alarm. Oh, that was weird. Oh no. Uh, you're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and living room adjacent, the stairs leading up. The note was discussed in your hands. Okay. Okay. Um, check. Living room. Go to the living room. You entered the living room. Living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is incredible and warm. The note's fixed in your mind. Dreadful is pity your stomach. This is not a nice place. Ugh! Abandoned and empty, abandoned and for good reason. Go back. Okay. I kind of want to go um, to the room as fast as possible to be done with it, but I'm a little bit scared. Um, go to the kitchen. Okay. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal. There is a carcass. Ooh, there is writing in the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Look around. There seems to be writing on the wall, and what looks like blood. Check utility room. Open, open utility room. Door is locked. Okay, go back. Ugh, your shoes are wet. Why are your shoes wet? <sighs> okay, go up. Go up. You head up the stairs. Creek. Oh no. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall. Oh god. Uh. Uh, pick up phone. Hating this. Hating this very much. Hating this very much. Very, very much. Okay. Go to. Your sister's room. Dear lord, Jennifer's room is bored. I hope you can't bear this. Okay. Go to your room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Um. Go to. Bathroom? You entered the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered with a layer of oily crime. The sink is a haven of all kinds of bugs. Look around. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rest in position. Go back. Of your family, the eyes have been scored out on all. Go to your room. Oh, check lock. Look at the lock. Okay. Um. Open door. Door's bolt is shut with a four digit combination lock. Unlock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. I don't know what the code is. Uh, 
I need a working fortress code. You know it's in the house somewhere. Oh no. Crap. Okay. Um. Go back. Okay. So it's probably downstairs in the kitchen, right? Go back. Yeah, let's check the kitchen. Oh, I hate this. Okay. Go to the kitchen. Can I unlock the door? Oh, read writing. Read the writing. Oh! Oh god, okay. 1986. Go back. I hate this. Okay. This is fine. Go up. Oh. oh no, it's on the wall with blood. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Okay. Go to your room. Unlock. Okay, 1986. 1986. Lock looks open. Same but different. Okay, okay. Go in. Go in your room. Oh my god, go in your room. Open door. your bedroom. The bedroom feels so totally familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on, the clock reads in 9999. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. You creep with no tie. Um. Go to the person. Go in. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands. But so you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. You're pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all your fault. Oh, please, stop. It was all my fault. Say it. It was all my fault. Finally. Oh, the breathing. Oh, no. Was that it? creepy a little bit a little bit creepy but all right holy crap okay okay well there you have it oh i did not go into this thinking that it was gonna turn into freaking horror i don't know why okay um we'll do the lab conduct to, mm, mm, on a different episode probably yes we'll do the lab contact on a different episode thank you everyone for watching this one i will see you all on the next video bye